Hey champions, Arian Tyson here. Listen, I just got through hosting this entrepreneur prayer call that I host every Tuesday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. And while I was driving, it just this just dropped in my spirit. So I say, you know what something, once something drops in my spirit, if I have time, I'm just gonna sit up and just shoot a quick video. So I wanna share with you why choices reveal your character. This is important. Choices reveal your character. And I'm going to share with you three reasons why. Number one, when it comes to character, character pretty much is defined by what you do when no one else is looking. What you do when you don't have a bunch of Eye eyeballs on you when you're not in front of a stage when you're when it when you're just you know in your private area your character that's what defines your character by how you act how you act in public is it the same way that you act when you're in private and so that's something you have to be cognizant of that's something you have to understand and then also one thing about when it comes to choices and, and, and character, simply put, if you don't have enemies, and this is point number two, if you don't have enemies, you don't have character, flat out, because it's not for everyone to like you. Everyone is not going to like you. Everybody is not going to be happy for you. Everybody is not going to want to see you succeed. They're not. That's just reality. If you look at any of the greats, if you look at Bill Gates, Oprah Winfrey, even before them, if you look at Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, the great Marcus Garvey, they all had enemies. They all had enemies. And so the reality is you have to recognize that everyone that says that they love you, everyone that's, that says that they're for you, all of those people are not for you. But you still have to be willing to make the hard choices. You still have to be willing to press forward because that says a lot about your character. And then finally, there is nothing more fatal to your character as to unfinished tasks. There's nothing more fatal to your character as leaving stuff undone. What do you have to accomplish? What have you left undone? What have you yet to accomplish? What goals do you have written out that you know that you need to accomplish? Because here's what I know. When you know something is ingrained in you, when you know that it's something that you know that you're supposed to be doing, it's really hard for you to sleep when you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, what you know in your heart of hearts you're supposed to be doing. Your sleep becomes disturbed. So you have to get out of your own way. And it's amazing how all of these people, and I'm not, I know I'm not the only person that knows people like this, but I'm sure as you're watching this video, you know a lot of people that have a, a, a lot of knowledge. They have a lot of knowledge. But here's the difference between having a lot of knowledge and having undescribable character. Knowledge gives you power. Knowledge can give you power. But character earns you respect. I'm going to say that again. Knowledge gives you power. But character earns you respect. And respect is far more valuable. Respect can take you a lot further than just having simply having knowledge. Because knowledge really doesn't even become power until it's applied. It's a lot of people that have knowledge. It's a lot of people that acquire knowledge. But you have to apply it. And so th that's three things that three things three reasons why choices, why your choices reveal your character. So I just wanted to share that with you uh, why, I had, why I had a little extra time to do so. If you got value from it, feel free to like, comment, and share this video.
with someone that needs to hear this. And remember in life, you have two choices. You can make moves or you can make excuses, but you most certainly cannot do both. It's yours truly, Arian Tyson, the moving motivator, and I will talk to you on the next one. Peace.